arrived at about 9am and set to work on a blank blue section of wall. After I finished my drawing, I turned to see someone standing behind me. It was the creator of the piece I was working over, and he was well moody with me. I've condensed this interaction down into a timeless medium that has long been the staple of many a great documentary maker, animated stick men. Mm. I fought my corner, but ended up moving along the wall some 30 metres or so to appease the guy. This project wasn't worth taking a punch, or worse for. And besides, I was only 10 minutes in. Undeterred, I stuck my template in position and began again. I was just starting to break the back of this piece, and then my camera died. It died like the mini budget. I snapped pictures on my phone whenever I remembered to, rather than crack out the reserve camera, as I wanted to make sure I had enough battery left for the final stage of the day. This whole spell was documented only as a limited flick book, but to be honest, it was the most enjoyable part of the day. Without the constant distraction of attending to the camera, I found a deeper sense of flow. I somehow managed to bring the first stage of the painting in on time. It had taken me about six hours. The atmosphere really changed as I prepared to enter the final stage of the work. There was an electricity in the air. People stopped talking to me, they could sense that my focus was ramping up. I glanced around to see about a dozen people watching. I tried to put them out of my mind as I began to spray.
It's not my best work, but that's okay. By the time you're watching this, I can guarantee that the painting has been covered a dozen times over. It was temporary, short-lived, fleeting, and that's fine by me. In these dark times we're living through, it's comforting to know that nothing lasts forever. We just have to live in hope that our life's best and brightest layers are still yet to come.